guys, welcome to our house. Why don't you come on in? Hey guys, welcome inside. I'm so glad you're here. If there's anything we can do to make you feel more comfortable or give you a glass of water or maybe some, I don't know, pancakes, um, you just let us know. We want you to feel comfortable and we are so excited you're here. I think the girls have been working on something and they are super excited to show you. I think we should go find out. What do you think? Mommy. Ooh, thank you. Hey, I like a little extra um, cream in my tea. Can you please give me a little extra cream? I like mine extra strong. Extra strong? Oh yeah. Okay. I don't have extra strong. Extra, you don't have extra strong? Sorry, no extra strong. Mmm. Do you love doing tea parties? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you love doing tea parties? Because that's my dream. It's your dream? <laughs> so. Obviously, you have a smile on your face. Mm. <laughs> well, we're off to have a tea party. Um, this would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the tea, Emmeline and Catherine. I don't know where else you went. So as you can tell, our daughters really love greeting and hosting little tea parties. They're really fantastic at it. Greeting people is so important that God told Paul to write it more than 10 times in chapter 16 of Book of Romans. In chapter 16 of Romans, verses 3 through 16, he says, Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus. They risk their lives for me. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Greet also the church that meets at their house. Greet my dear friend Eponidas, who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Greet Mary who worked very hard for you. Greet Adronicus and Junia, my fellow Jews who have been in prison with me. They are outstanding among the apostles and they were in Christ before I was. Greet Ampliatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our coworker in Christ and my dear friend Stachus. Greet Apelles, whose fidelity to Christ has stood the test. Greet those who belong to the household of Astru Ast Aristobulus. <laughs> Greet Herodian, my fellow Jew. Greet those in the household of Narcissus who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, those women who work hard in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, another woman who has worked very hard for the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, who has been a mother to me too. Greet Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Petrobus, Hermas, and the other brothers and sisters with them. Greet Philologus and Julia, Nereus and his sister, and Olympus and all the Lord's people who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send greetings. The other part that I'm going to read is chapter 16 of Romans verses 21 through 24. Timothy, my co-worker, sends his greetings to you as do Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my fellow Jews. I Tertius, who wrote down this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, whose hospitality I and the whole church here enjoy, sends you his greetings. Eritus, who is the city's director of public works, and our brother Cordus, sends you their greetings. So, two things we've learned from all of these verses is... First thing, greeting is so important to God, and that's very clear. Um, it is so important that we greet each other with a holy kiss, is what it says, and with love. The other thing we learned is there's a lot of names that Hattie can't say, but I will leave you with this. Make sure that 
the next time you see somebody or the next time you, I don't know, have a birthday party or whatnot, make sure you greet them and you host them with love and treat them like the best guest. And yeah, I hope, I hope that that's clear to you and have a good day. Thank you.